master of disguise. In his early years, he flew around in his winged pajamas as Batman, the <laughs> hammer. And later in childhood life, he swung from ceilings as Spider-Man, Daredevil, and Crime Fighter, extraordinaire. Today, he hopes to be less concealing and to give an undisguised evaluation of Adele's speech. Please welcome Trace Hall. Thank you, and good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Adele, I feel that your speech could not have come at a better time. You picked, I think, we have one more speech before the election, so it was very appropriate at the Some of your positives, I thought you, you picked a kind of touchy subject for most people, and you managed to maneuver yourself and navigate throughout the speech without stepping on anyone's toes. I don't feel like anyone would look at that and say, oh, I feel offended. I think everyone here could agree with your statement. I think it's very important. You had a... Uh, <laughs> you had a great message <laughs> that, that really rings true. I was watching the other day the, I don't know if you have seen it, but there was a third party presidential debate, and they gave an estimate on 50 million people not voting this year. Wow. I don't know if that's correct. That's what they said. So, really rings true. I think you dressed the part. I noticed you have your little pin. I can tell you're wearing the you look very presidential. <laughs> it's my disguise. I came as Condoleezza Rice. <laughs> <laughs> some, some things I think you might want to remember. What I, I noticed when you were done, you said, thank you, and you kind of walked off. Just remember to try to shake the Toastmaster's hand and let everyone know that you're done with more than a, a thank you. And, uh, Dive to the side. Um, secondly, <laughs> I think you did a great job with your hands gestures and your your vocal loudness. I think you you did a good job speaking at a good tone, and you even came in and you got a little quiet or something, and you got personal. What I, I didn't see was you getting loud. <laughs> I, I think. This was a, a time to be bellicose. This was a time to be very aggressive and say, get out there and vote! And I think you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> the jokes. Your joke on welfare and crap was hilarious. Reed almost died. <laughs> <laughs> Slick Willie, protect the interns. <laughs> Good job on that. I haven't yet seen Mississippi burning, but after your speech, I think I plan to. So, very important topic. I, I think if everyone listened to what she said and got up there and vote, and inspired the people they know are probably not going to vote, to vote, things would be a lot better. And let them know they, they do have other candidates, they do have other options. And even if they don't agree with the presidential election, they have a local office. I mean, it comes right down to your front door. So, very important, great topic. Thank you, Adele.